uh, hi everyone and welcome back so coming back to our actual implementation what we want is lambda to be able to do a read write all these operations right so what we are going to use we are going to use as aws sdk so that programmatically we should be able to access the other resources like we are going to write node.js code we want to access dynamodb so what we will use we will, we will use aws sdk and we are using node.js so it's like an npm module which you need to install i mean if you are already working on to this then it's very easy you just need to do an aws sdk install if you install it as an npm module then you can actually access the dynamodb or sqs sns any of the aws resource and then rest all is your code so here we are getting aws sdk directly from the like dynamodb from the aws sdk now we are creating dynamodb client object then list tables put get all these operations we can do on the dynamodb so similarly what we did is there, there are various options available so we will take a look on to this snippet what we are doing is we are actually requiring aws sdk on the lambda line one then we got the dynamodb object with the help of this dynamodb object it exposes all these methods put scan get using this we can actually get the data create the record in dynamodb and rest all code is node.js code we are writing just strapping it in the try catch so that if any error occurs we will return 500 from the lambda and here in this parameter the table name we have the store item whatever the item you are going to put so it's like whatever the item we are getting from the body otherwise initialize it with empty and then put the key which is unique you can actually generate it from the uuid v4 so there are libraries which will help you to generate this unique key or you can actually create a random digit and assign it to the key key should be a partition key and should be unique coming to our lambda so this is just uh, the glimpse of the code which we will be writing we are going to use aws sdk you can also look into this this is actually npm module okay and what all components i mean you can access all the aws services after installing this like aws sdk global and uh, let's go to documentation getting started what so it is like this api reference developer guide yeah so here you can see we directly got the dynamo db client now dynamo db client you can specify the reason also in the constructor and here you can call all these methods send put scan list tables okay similarly all the other aws services like i want to just access the sqs client what i did is i got the sqs client and now i, I created a client object and this parameter now you can actually push the message to the sqs all these things this client can do and there can be a another client object which will re be reading the message from the sqs a queue right so this is what you will be using when you want lambda to read write to sqs or any other uh, component who wants to ac do uh, access sqs programmatically so all the components are available uh, consider that i want to do something with the s3 right uh, i can create a s3 client and i wanted to do upload read all these things so we should be able to see something troubleshooting okay copy object command upload delete bucket command see this i mean put object delete object all these commands are there and you will be using aws sdk for it it's like a new documentation looks like uh, here we what we need to do every time we have to get the client here it's a s3 client 
which we are getting and this s3 client we are getting from S AWS SDK now with the help of this client you can do a put you can do a get all the methods which s3 is exposing which is like get put a lot of methods are there I mean lot of operations whatever you can do on the s3 object okay same thing we are doing here we are doing a dynamo db which we are getting from the same way and doing a dot put so similarly you can do a dot get dot scan all these methods on the dynamo db okay let's see if if we have written this code and this file is nothing but uh, converting a response and giving us something like this okay if i try to execute this and try to see because we already have a dynamo db uh, we haven't specified here currently uh, the the region and all but that should be fine and i try to deploy this and test this then you can see that we are we are getting this kind of error uh, here dynamo db error please check out the logs And here, if you try to see the logs, uh, execution update. Uh, so this is the error custom error response it is throwing because it is coming in the error block. So if I just try to print the console dot log error, then you will see what exact error we are getting. I will deploy this lambda and I will test this again. And once we test it, we should be able to see this error coming whatever the error we are getting so here you can see our lambda is not authorized so this is because of we don't have this lambda doesn't have a im role which has access to the dynamo db so if we try to see the assigned role to this lambda function create action view detail here which I try to change the, the role of this lambda. Let me try to see that. Okay. So we can all resources. This is the resource based policy. Okay, yeah, sorry. Take me some time. So this role uh, we were checking. So what we can do is let's see. Use the lambda role. And we can uh, actually remove this lambda policy what this lambda policy is saying so this is sample table right so our table is different now table is store right we can give a try if we can edit this So this is a ARN of the resource, right? So what is the ARN of resource in our case? We'll go to DynamoDB, open this in the new tab, and here we will just try to see. I think we were in the same region, create table. We already have this table, and here we will get a ARN of this resource. Copy this. changes cloud watch don't worry about that so here we will policy save changes now we have given appropriate access i mean we just updated the same role now if you just try to see this
okay one or more parameter value missing the key id in the items okay at least uh, now we are not getting execution role error right status code 500 so key id if i just so this is the unique key and here is our dynamo db table and here we have already defined id right so let's put id because the partition key is already decided rest all whatever the the dump whatever you want to dump you can put it like i want to put some body also body having some payload object that's it this should also be fine i'm deploying it and here we can test it Type mismatch key ID expected a uh, string actual number. Okay, that is correct. And also let's change it to five. Deploy this and test it. Okay, finally uh, we see some success. I mean, this is all about what data you are sending to the Dynamo DB. I was just trying to do the dump. A dummy data so it's a it should be of type string because id the partition key primary key is decided right so we should follow that constraint body you can keep dumping anything you want apart from that so here the records you can see the second record we have created and if we just try to refresh this you should be able to see uh, the updated data and here you can see there is a body and we have the type json object it is storing right id is 5 so similarly now you can whatever data you are getting from the body you can actually dump it directly and this is how you are actually updating the data in the dynamo right so with this small piece of code we are able to write to the dynamo db so similarly we can also do get put update delete all these operations in the dynamo db so i will do is I will create separate separate lambdas and we will see how it is going to work. Okay. Thanks everyone.